Hello guys, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions and I want to talk about a little issue with the Omnibus F4 Pro version 2.1. Now this is the version 2.1, not version 1, version 2, or version 3. This is the version 2.1 from Banggood. I really like this board because it has the built-in voltage and current sensor right here. The main battery can be connected right here on this side of the resistor and then you can connect another wire here that goes to your ESCs or other loads. The voltage and current can then be displayed through the built-in OSD chipset which is on the bottom of the board. This then can be inserted into your video feed that goes to your goggles or to your monitor at your main ground station right here. The OSD itself can now be configured right within CleanFlight and you don't need a separate OSD configuration tool like MWOSD. This board also supports iNav CleanFlight and you can put a compass over here and a GPS right here. But I did run into an issue. The issue develops when you try to put your GPS down here on this plug which is also serial port 6 and it becomes in conflict. The solution for it is to put your GPS over here on serial port 1 and you can still plug your magnetometer or compass in here on serial port 3 on the bottom of this plug. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. If you want to know more of the details, just stay tuned. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So this is the board layout that I got from Banggood. It was on their page under the product that I purchased which was the version 2.1. However, I prefer to use the A0 diagram, which is this one right here, because it has more detail. Okay, so how do you know if you have a version 2.1 of the Omnibus F4 Pro? One way you can tell is from ordering it. When you look on the web page, for example, Banggood, you'll see there is a V. 2.1 designation. You can see that right here. The other way you can tell is if you look on the bottom of the board right below the SD card slot right here you'll see V2.1. So I will put a link to issue 2576 on the GitHub iNav wiki so that you can take a look at it yourself. It's quite a read and I'll try to just skim through the details but the original poster was having trouble with his XADR receiver connecting to his Omnibus F4 Pro. Uh, later he found out through help from the wiki that you could use a different firmware than the standard Omnibus F4 Pro V2 firmware and he tried that and the receiver started working. But then he still had a problem with the GPS not working. He could get the receiver working but not the GPS, not both at the same time after further discussion, they did find out that the GPS port was in conflict with the receiver serial port. They were both on COM6. So if you have a FreeSky X8R receiver like this one and you want to use SBUS, just plug your cable in right here and then plug the other end into the pins on your board or you can use a plug like this that I've soldered on there. And then in CleanFlight set it to be uh, serial RX in your ports tab for serial port 6, which would be the, th the bottom one. So the rest of the configuration is the same, uh, like on the configurations tab for setting up SBUS. But that's a little different. So I just decided not to use it. Instead, I used this one here, the D4R2. And I used it in PPM mode. Like some of these other boards, this port here is both PPM and SBUS. It just makes a difference how you configure it in clean flight. But the SBUS and the PPM is inverted. Well, that's good news for receivers like this one because you don't have to do any workarounds. They just plug right on and work fine. So now let's talk about hooking up the GPS. This is the U-Blox Neo M8N from Banggood, and it's for the PixHawk. It comes with two plugs like this, which I went and rewired. And so now they look like this. Pretty much the same, except these are plugs that will fit this board. 
Now you might want to order some pigtail plugs when you order your either your board or your GPS or both. Just get some of these plugs that fit the board. You'll need a six pin and a four pin pigtail plug. You'll find them on Banggood. I'll put a link to this GPS under the video. So for the GPS all you need to do is run TX from the GPS to RX on serial port 1 and then run RX from the GPS to TX on serial port 1 so the wires are crossed then just hook up ground and 5 volts so that's how you work with the GPS now if you want to use the magnetometer or compass then you just wire SCL to SCL and SDA to SDA so that's very straightforward so because that the uh, serial ports are shared right here we can't use serial port 6 anymore for the GPS so what we have to do is actually plug the GPS in over here on serial port 1 so we'll just put our 4 port plug or our 4 pin plug into serial port 1 and then put this 6 pin plug which all it has on it is the magnetometer now and if you don't want a magnetometer or compass you don't even have to hook this wire up maybe you have a GPS that doesn't have a magnetometer then don't worry about it but when I plug this in it doesn't affect serial port 6 it's just plugged into serial port 3 if you look at the board diagram here you'll see this is serial port 3 down here serial port 6 is up here that I'm not using and I don't need 5 volts in ground because it's already plugged in over here on serial port 1 for the GPS. So that's all you have to do, except you would have to go into clean flight and configure things a little bit differently. So now the GPS, since it's going to be on serial port 1, you would select the second port down in your ports tab and set that to GPS instead of six like we were doing so that's the main difference and of course you still have to do your GPS settings on your configuration tab as well so turn on your U-Blocks GPS turn on your magnetometer and then you're all set one more little thing that uh, I wasn't going to cover but I think I will this board here has the video in and out right here so you have video in right here coming from your camera and then video out going to your video transmitter right here then you have ground pins over here but uh, one question I had when I was doing this is what is the RAM pins? well the RAM pins are actually connected together they're just two pins connected together and they don't go anywhere until you solder some pads and what you can do there is solder some pads on the back to either give you 5 volts regulated from the board or the full battery voltage and if you look on the back of the board let's see if I can find it right in this area right there that center pin goes to the RAM pins now these outer pins you solder to the center pin to get either 5 volts or the full battery voltage so two cells three cells four cells is probably what you're going to run into so that full battery voltage could vary depending on your battery but the other choice the five volts is regulated right from the board so it'll always be five volts if you need that for say a camera or a transmitter all right so that about covers it if I got anything wrong or if you've got any questions just go ahead and leave them under the video. I know I'm not perfect. I just wanted to get some of this out to avoid some of the confusion on this V2.1 Omnibus F4 Pro. It's just a little bit different animal. Thanks for watching.